Selfies Through Time Starlight Secrets The year was 1610, and the stars had never looked so close. Luca tightened his cloak and stepped onto the cold stone balcony. The city of Florence hummed quietly in the distance, but up here it was silent, except for the creak of wood and the low voice of the man beside him. Hand me the notebook, said Galileo, without turning his eyes from the telescope. Luca obeyed, scribbling down the time and the angle as instructed. His fingers were ink-stained and stiff from the evening air, but his heart raced with something warmer, excitement. He was only twelve, but he had seen what few people in the world ever had. Moons orbiting Jupiter, stars invisible to the naked eye, shadows dancing across the moon's craters. Galileo leaned back and rubbed his eyes. Your turn. Luca's hands trembled slightly as he stepped forward and peered through the brass tube. At first, it was just a blur. Then, slowly, shapes began to form. A glowing orb, Jupiter, and around it, Four tiny lights, not stars, moons, he gasped. You see them, Galileo said, almost to himself. Good, that makes five nights in a row. It's not an illusion. This changes everything. Luca pulled back from the telescope. But you said the church believes everything orbits the earth. Galileo looked at him, tired but fierce. I know, but the truth doesn't need permission. They stood in silence for a moment. The stars above twinkled like secrets. Should I draw them? Luca asked, already flipping the page. No, Galileo said with a strange smile. Let's do something better. Describe them in your own words. Luca hesitated, then bent over the paper and began to write. Tonight I saw four moons that do not belong to Earth. They circle Jupiter like dancers in the dark. The world will not believe me, but I saw it. Galileo read the note and nodded slowly. Some day they will. Luca didn't know if he believed that, but for now he had seen something most grown-ups refuse to believe. He looked back up at the sky and smiled.